<laughs> so when the when the show started, did you guys expect it to take off as it did? Because um, it just kind of started off small, but it's got a big following now. Oh yeah, it's got a big following. It sort of had a, a very built-in audience with you know, big Marvel movies, and, and uh, there were a lot of eyes on the show, being that it was Marvel's first live-action show and first sort of marriage between Marvel and ABC. Um, we knew there'd be a lot of eyeballs on it, so we were just hoping to please those eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. And it definitely does. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Captain America 2. Will the ramifications of that be shown in season 1? There will be a ripple effect. Any movie that is in their universal effect ours, uh, but there will be a ripple effect from Captain America very soon after this, for sure. the Marvel brands, sort of most of it is defined not only by the long sort of comic history, but also, you know, the giant movies that, that they've made, and um, that, it's not possible to do a movie of that scale every week, it's just logistically not possible, so we're hoping to show that same universe with a different lens, which I think we've, we've, we've done um, successfully, I don't know. Um, right. And the way that we, the thing that, the advantage we have over the films is long-term oh. storytelling. Um, so, as we get later in the season, some of those things we planted are paying off and, and we're getting to reap that reward. Whereas early on, it just didn't look as big as I wanted. So, you know, some, I think that when you see that Marvel flip, you're expecting something grand. And uh, hopefully, as a, as a whole season, we've delivered that. And we're very excited for the stuff that's coming up because we think it, it uh, delivers on that Marvel promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.